Okay, good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, how are you today? Uh, still the same since the uh, beginning. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, so, first question, why did you decide to become a seaman? Uh, I decided to become a seaman. Uh, it, since I was a child, I used to... I used to... Uh, through sea ships and it was the means of travel since I was a child. Uh, since I was young, uh, a lot of ships in the Philippines because we are in the archipelago. And uh, when we used during summer, uh, we always go to our grand, gra grandmother's place. So, uh, so uh, that's why. And I was always fascinated by ships. So when I became quite an adult, uh, I, 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 I then uh, became uh, curious about how the ships are, are manned and uh, navigated. Wow, so then it's more like a childhood dream. Yeah, some, some, somewhat like a childhood dream. Yeah, and also my cousins and, and my uncles are also seamen, so... Mm. Uh, Helps a lot when you're coming uh, in our sim. Good, good. Okay, uh, where did you study? Uh, I studied in Iloilo, Jan uh, Bilakson. Yeah, it was quite uh, 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 famous in our place. So I went there and also it's, uh, it's the hometown of my father. So it's not uh, uh, any hard, hard for me to, to stay in university. Yeah, because uh, I my father is the one who told me to 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 pursue my my career there. Jan Bilakson. Okay, good. And uh, was it difficult? Uh, yeah, at the beginning because it was uh, was away from my parents, but uh, later on it's it's quite uh, uh, fascinating because you know it, I'm, I'm living on my own. And uh, it really helps you a lot in preparing for for my future career since I will be alone. How long are you at sea already? I I, I, was, I, I don't think I have, but uh, I, I think this is my seventh uh, contract in the company, Marlowe. So maybe it's a 10 months, maybe 70, 70 months total. For sure, seventy. Months. For sure, yeah. For this, including this contract, seventy months. What was the best contract? How was it? Uh, was it difficult? Uh, what challenges did you meet, and how did you deal with them? Yeah, it's my first, first contract was uh, I was cadet at the time. Uh, you know, cadets uh, contract mostly uh, will will go until twelve months because it's like the uh, regulation in the Philippines that that should uh, complete twelve months, not less than twelve months. So you need to make all twelve months one way, one contract. So it was really uh, cool because my first contract, uh, my 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 uh, our route was Caribbean in the U.S. Yeah, it's like you're just living in an island every day. We're in, in the port, so but it's what was really, but then the work side was really terrible because you don't have enough enough sleep. But later on, you get used to it, and yeah, I can get to it. I can get to to enjoy the the islands in Caribbean. So it was really like a win win situation for for us. So and uh, yeah. Really so nice. it looks like your first contract was the rough one, but anyway, you manage. Yeah, you manage. You can always manage to to make uh, yourself uh, uh, happy, even though it's really hard. But yeah, there are a lot of things to be done on board. So. Uh, did you feel seasick during these voyages? Ah uh, no, I get uh, uh, I don't really feel seasick because yes, yeah, since I was a child, I really. All. Know, since I was a child, I was really into ships already, so yeah, it was nothing doing. 
Uh, did you visit the ships uh, during your childhood? You yeah. only get used to it. Yeah, every every, no, every time I every every time I go to my grandmother's place or back come back home, I always uh, road yes. trips. Yeah. Oh, I see, because it's also convenient for us since airport is quite maybe two hour drive from us. So it, and ships is just you know, it's just city here and then just ride on you know, go in the, the ship and ride and then the next morning you wake up you're already there so it's quite convenient oh. okay uh what about by the way you are uh second mate yes. second mate second officer and uh, tell me about the usual working day of the second officer what yeah okay uh first thing second officer uh First thing, a uh, second officer is a navigational officer, as uh, as also a medical officer. And some ships depends on the, the flag. He is also the security officer. So uh, my, the, uh, the second officer's uh, uh, this watch arrangement starts from what, uh, zero zero hundred hours midnight until zero four hundred hours. So and the next, the next shift will be twelve hundred till sixteen hundred. So it's four hours, four hours uh, on the first watch. It's four hours again in the second watch. So uh, my job or my duty is uh, was was probably uh, first things first is to check all the navigational equipment if it's really working. If I, I maintain them, I maintain them, and also about the route. Was especially the, the, the charts from first to first. We always uh, updated, and now we are using it. So it's really, really <laughs> easy for my job. Convenience. Yeah. And okay. it's very convenient. convenient. Yeah. Unlike before, you when you use charts, but I only I only use charts uh, maybe one time in my career. Paper charts, paper charts, and most of the ships were already. <laughs> Digital, so, and and then uh, you you really have a lot of paper job for the second officer. Uh, how do you spend your free time? Yeah, free time. Uh, so free time. Sometimes uh, after my watch, uh, I I I take uh, overtime. You know, just to catch up all for the the things that I should uh, should finish. No, for example, for what are these things? Ah, okay. Yeah, like uh, I, I, like these things that which are not located on the bridge. Yeah, which I am um, most of the time, you know, on my on my duty. The bridge is where uh, uh, it's like a cockpit for for the guys who don't know. Yeah, it's where we we that ship. Yeah, and and after that. Uh, the things that which are not uh, located there, uh, which we maintain. So, for example, the hospital. Yeah, that's the thing that uh, what I do after my free time. I check them, and and after that, I used to get, I get to you know hang out with the guys. Yeah, hang out with the guys, and and then yeah, check, check uh, watch movies, uh, watch movies. Yeah, mostly watch movies with the family. And if ever a ship, we are lucky. Some ships will have uh, like musket reports, you know, some recreation. Mm, yeah. yeah. And sometimes, you know, if I'm really not tired, I used to go to the gym just to make some some uh, workout. At the moments you like and you dislike on board the ship. Yeah, I like uh, like first. I like the ship because you know it's it's really simple and it's quite small and like every ship is uh, same ship a uh, same 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 contract but different type of ship so I really like the ship because you know, it's it's like uh it's just it's uh it's it's you know, it's not that big but it's really accessible and it looks looks new. But the only thing I dislike is that uh, we don't have the third mate, third officer. Yeah, it's uh, 
so I get to, to do two jobs at, at one time. So I'm still adjusting because it's my first time to to be on a ship without. Uh, yeah. By the way, you are on the ship without third mate. Yeah, I'm on the ship without third mate. But uh, it's a different story. Uh, I think uh, on my when I was a junior third mate, we don't have the second officer. But the ship was really, you know, really, really small. <laughs> so, but here it's a different story, but it's, it's quite bigger. It's quite bigger ship uh, for my previous one, which was, when I, was uh, my first time as an officer. I was third third junior officer at the time, so we don't have a second mate. But it's uh, all the, all it, all it was, uh, it was all uh, automated. And now here it's also automated, but it's uh, quite bigger, and uh, there are a lot of uh, things to be done. Yeah, true. So yeah. Yeah, maybe I can I can get used to it. Uh, so your I, contract just started anyway. Yeah, your contract just, just started. started. You'll get used to it. Yeah. Sure. So I'm I'm still, I'm here for maybe two weeks, two weeks, come three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, I will get. Because the problem of the ship that it is right now uh, is quite big for the um, crew without the third mate. And it is it is required some time to get used to it. Yeah. That's the thing. Uh, okay. Uh, you know, some people say the word all the time. They say the word seamanship, good seamanship, bad seamanship. What is seamanship in your opinion? Uh, How will you describe it? <clears throat> well, seamanship, uh, seamanship, in my opinion, is you know uh, when you you have skills, you know you have skills, these uh, abilities, in which you are, which you are really good, uh, which you are really good while on board the ship. This is like seamanship for me. Uh, when we have all the skills, you know, like, like uh, you know how to to do things, but it's different here on board. It's really different here on board. Uh, if you you really are a good seaman, you can do, you can uh, you can do whatever you want in a seaman's way. You know, uh, for example, just like tying a rope. Nobody knows how to do this tying a rope. True. Yeah, <laughs> how to secure things. So if you're a good seaman, uh, you can really do everything uh, on board the ship. And uh, it's by simple tying a rope uh, and uh, securing and, and also uh, first first of all, you're, you're really not seasick. <laughs> you're not a good seaman if you are, you're seasick. Yeah, so it, based on your experience, what will you suggest to all seamen who would like to enter the profession? Uh, first of all, for those who are going, uh, for, for those who are about to come on board, for first timers, yeah. So you should think, really think about it, and because it's not really, it's not easy to to just ride on ship and then go work on it, uh, because you really, you will really really get uh, homesick you know if you are really not used to going alone and isolated from the world yeah you really i don't know how you cope up with things but for me it's really important if you really love your job yeah, if you really love your job and you will, you will never think about it and you just you know I'll go with it and just do 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 it with you know with with the with passion and with love, so it will, it will really never be a problem. So yeah. much. Number one is uh, the homesick. You should be ready yeah. to deal yeah. with the homesick. Okay. Number yeah. two. Number two. Uh, number two. So uh, since most of so since we we are paid, you know, like good money. <laughs> so you just uh, just think of the good money and just do your job, do your job well. And you'll be get rewarded after after that, uh, and and 
just uh, go with and always, you know, uh, first first thing you should really do is to really get get well with your your uh, crewmates because they will be you, you will be with them for the rest of your stay here on board. Yeah? You will be it will be like your family, mm-hmm. you know, with your family and your family is really you know it's worth you don't get well with them it would be really uh well this is really number two way. general uh, you should have good social skills, yeah, social skills. uh to be um, good with them uh, all the time yeah with the cooperation, cooperation yes. with your teammates and no quarrels no make yeah. enemies that's 100 percent Uh, no, maybe, 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 maybe number three. three, maybe number three was also. Yeah, we'll think about it. I say what? Uh, what can be the guy who entered the profession should know well. So for the guy, uh, yeah, for number three, it's really up to you. <laughs> it's really up to you if how how do you how do you do well with you know with others. It's really. Depends on your attitude. It really depends on your attitude. If you re- come here in a shitty attitude, yeah, yeah, it should be you have more compassion with uh, everybody. Because it's not, it's not, you know, it's not, uh, it's not that uh, everybody will adjust for you. you not know? just treat them like your friend. You know, like your friend. Hey, it's a Show some, you know, the humility with them. And, uh, and that's all. Okay. <laughs>